Yeah, I see the tackle, man. Let's get to it. When it comes to NBA fans and sports fans in general, one thing I see all the time is revisionist history with older legends. And one mm. of the commonly accepted myths and narratives yeah, about shit. Michael Jordan is that his time in Washington was a failure, and as a player, he was complete garbage. And unfortunately for you guys, play, one of the bro. bigger podcasts out there, if I get <laughs> a tough play, I, I think oh my god, Gilbert Arenas is, is again pushing this narrative. Hey. He is still top five, still fastest dude in the NBA. That's what I said. No one's, no one's. At this point, like, how old was Mike when he retired? Thirty-six, right? With the no, when he came, you talking when about he came back with the Wizard, came back at thirty-eight. He's averaging 30. He plays in his Michael Jordan. 40. Think about what he has to do. Average. Starts. Nothing. Just sit in the post and keep jumping. They're yeah. going to keep jumping. <laughs> They're going to keep jumping. Uh, sit on the line. Yeah. Woo. Fade away. Uh, uh. Now, stopping that clip right there, when it comes to Jordan's time on the Wizards, if you look at his raw numbers those two years, I would say they're pretty decent stats, mildly impressive. But if you look past that, add some context of his injuries, playing through injuries. Michael Jordan's time in the Wizards is even more impressive. And that first year in Washington, before his injury, he was simply fantastic for superstar yeah, I was talking standards. about this in... Averaging Come on, man. I was talking about this literally a few days ago. Well, yesterday, I think. 24.6 oh, points per game, 6.0 <laughs> boards, 5.4 assists, 1.5 steals on 42% shooting. Jordan pre-injury ranked 8th in the NBA in scoring, ahead of Dirk, ahead of Antoine Walker, Ray Allen, and barely behind Vince Carter. And in terms of 40-point games, ranked 6th in the NBA, tied with Shaq at 3. And to add even more context, averaging nearly 25 points per game back in that era is way more impressive than 25 in this era. As in the year 2002, Facts, teams were averaging... I was talking about this because... If you just do it, if you look at the percentage, man, just look at the percentage of the points Jordan accounted for compared to 25 points in in, in this in today's NBA. That percentage is going to be a, a, a noticeable difference. 95.5 <coughs> points per game, the fifth lowest average of all time. Compared to the modern NBA, where teams score 110 to 115 with ease. Oh, that's fake. And when it comes to the fake. older generation the of players... Playing through injuries was commonplace back in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Today, not so much. And after Jordan got hurt in 02, of course, he tried to play through injuries. In his last eight games that year, they really tanked his stats and how good facts, he was tell. when healthy. Like, As damn, in those eight games, son. only averaged 12 points on sub-40 shooting. Again, Jordan's time in Washington requires tons of context. Did you see how he played then? I'm gonna get in the post, I'm gonna do this, right? Mm -hmm. He wasn't, he wasn't deering it like, like LeBron. I mean, that's all he ever like, did. Like, their bodies was, their bodies No, 100%. Like, but he's just saying just at least just, about getting buckets. Like, just, just Jordan to get buckets, because it's easier to get Jordan, buckets now. He wouldn't do least, it like, he wouldn't 30. do it like LeBron. I don't know what I'm saying is the reason Jordan wouldn't average 40 because Jordan body wouldn't have let him average 40. It would be, Remember he was sitting on the line to these kids today. Mike, but think about, think about it. LeBron at 38, right? I don't he know about averaging He's still running. Averaging 40 may be a little bit of, of a stretch at, at if you're talking about at 38, you know, I could give Jordan round 30, though. Round 30, yeah. Round 30? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. And like he's 20. <laughs> Michael Jordan was, like, they were tearing tar out of his knee every game. Now, for this clip right here, I think both sides of the argument make really valid points. As looking at age 38 Jordan, age 38 LeBron, both players in varying degrees are highly effective players. Of course, LeBron, the better overall player, but he does it in a much different way. As LeBron last year, on transition scoring, mm. ranked second in the NBA at 8.3 points per game on a ridiculous shooting efficiency. Now, Jordan in his prime was a great transition player, but in the Wizards mainly, dominated in the mid-range. As looking at 2 Michael Jordan that year averaged 12.4 points per game in the <coughs> mid-range. That ranked first in the NBA, ahead of Allen Iverson on a better shooting percentage. 
Looking at 03, once again, Jordan ranked first in mid-range scoring at 43.3%. And mm. compared to his protege, Clay Bryant, had a higher percentage and a higher Even scoring that, average. That's, that's just a testament to, to Mike's crazy mid-range game, bro. Even at the age of 38, you know, he's still at the top of the league. And 39, you know, he's still at the top of the league in terms of uh, mid-range. 03 season. And for Michael Jordan's time in the NBA, he played a total of 30 games over the age of 40. In those 30 games, Jordan, mind you, post knee surgery, numerous elbow problems, ankle problems. Jordan at that point still averaged 22.4 points per game, 7.2 boards, 3.4 assists. And, and, and I ain't gonna lie, I feel like he probably would have got better, bro. Like during that, when he was averaging 25, I feel like that probably could have pro progressed to around 28. You understand? Uh, just getting just getting back acclimated into the NBA season, you know? He was he was going for a minute, and he's still averaging 25 as soon as he come back. You know what I'm saying? It shows right here, because when, when he first came back from in injury, only averaging 12, you know? Next season, he comes back, get a little more work in, get a little more ab acclimated, back to the league, you know? Averaging 22 again. So imagine he didn't have that injury. That's like 28. <laughs> Quick max. On 46% shooting. It actually is kind of remarkable. Michael Jordan, as he got older and healthier, became more efficient. In this, in Michael, in this era? What do you say to Canyon? This a back brace? No, no, oh, no, it's no, going to no. be a long day for you. Who we got? Back and, I, bro, and just, just what I, that goes to what I said, bro. Like, he's obviously, you know what I'm saying, getting the feel for what's going on right now. He's, he's trying to feel out the game. You got to be able to pick his spots, but then that comes with experience. So obviously, this is the great, greatest player of all time, the GOAT. He's gonna take all this information in, you know what I'm saying, and use it to his advantage. And next season is going, you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Back That's brace, hey, back brace. This is gonna yeah, be a long day for you. <laughs> Michael Jordan? Yeah. Michael Jordan ain't gotta run in no air, Defen man. Defensive, Listen, defensively, man, what I'm saying is defensively, he's running. But I'm no, saying, he, we he, hide he, him. We hide, we hide him. We can hide, we can hide him. So you had a point guard who didn't score in that era. Right? Like, so You're like. about Michael Jordan defensively? Bro, the, if you talk about Michael Jordan defensively, I don't think that's as much of a problem as LeBron is defensively. Yo, LeBron, like, bro, I, when I'm watching the game, it's like when LeBron's out there, he's just a guy that you know. Like, if the ball's even, if the ball's on the floor, rolling his way, he's not even on the floor. He's not doing none of that. Like, it's nothing. Like, you just know he's not putting in that extra effort. He's not going to uh, run to the uh, rotation, man, and try to get a block. He's just going to look. He's going to look and point. <laughs> That's all he does. He, he just be walking around on defense there, there, bro. So you can't, I, don't, I, don't, I hope they wasn't making a point about Jordan's uh, defense being bad, you know what I'm saying, in comparison to LeBron's, you know. Like if he was guarding AI, he wouldn't guard AI. He'd just be standing around, There's bro. No. Like, but right now, they don't have that in the era. In this era, both guards are the scorers now. No. So stopping it right there, when it comes to defensive stats, defensive analytics, for the 2000s, there's not much solid proof that Jordan was a great defender. Mm. And I will concede the overall point Jordan of the Wizards, of course, compared to his prime, was much slower, less consistent. Facts. And from night to night, didn't bring it to every but, single matchup. And this, I feel like, I, I already know where bro going. Well, I think this is where you're going. You know what I'm saying? But how are you comparing, like, you can't compare Jordan's defense, though, to LeBron's. You know, LeBron, LeBron's defense is so much worse. And that's but on the flip like side, even Jordan approaching 40 had numerous games locking down Vince Carter, Paul Pierce, Antoine Walker, stifling T-Mac, and even holding Kobe in check for at least some quarters. Not saying he was first team all defense, but Jordan the Wizards wasn't a pushover on that end of the court. You know what I'm saying? And if you want some solid evidence, Jordan had a really great defensive impact on the Wizards. Look at the 01 Wizards pre Michael Jordan. That Wizards team ranked 29th in defense, which was dead last. The 02 Wizards uh. with Jordan pre All Star break when he was healthy ranked 14th in defense. Up nearly 15 spots. See, after. And to show Jordan's overall impact mm, once again, come on, that's, impact, that's definitely impactful, Jordan was man. Hurt, come on, bro. 
down the Come on, bro. You can't, like, you Jordan's can't compare Jordan's defense to, even age 39 to LeBron and 40, if you're going. But definitely on, felt in Washington. And in terms of the modern era, hiding Jordan on defense, look, if Trey Young, Steph Curry, Damon Luka can be hit. That's even better. You know, I forgot to, I'm a little tired right now. I forgot to talk about the hiding part. But yeah, bro, yeah, you won't gotta, you won't gotta hide Jordan. That's basically what I was trying to get to. We don't gotta hide Jordan. You know what I'm saying? We not hide LeBron. We don't gotta hide Jordan. LeBron's worse on D. LeBron just stands there. Come on, bro. Hitting on defense. I think Michael Jordan, they could have some scheme to hide him, or at least put him in the corner on a non-offensive player. Y'all didn't expect shit, right? <laughs> Y'all didn't That's expect true. shit from those greats, so you know what I mean? Like, you know, you know, if he's out there giving you 30, you should be grateful. If he scored more than 20, you should be grateful, right? Because if, you know, where was Larry Bird at 38? Back yeah, you out of me. Ma Magic, 38? Ah, right, I mean, you know, what, what, what did Kareem look like at 38? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you know, all the guys that, you know, he's competing with. Pretty, what do they look like at 38? Tough, so 38 you didn't expect though? shit from me. Where am I bugging? I'm pretty sure we watch plenty of videos uh, uh, talking about how Kareem in his uh, later years was still competing for championships. Uh, granted, he had magic, but Braun got AD. I mean, magic, <laughs> magic and AD are two different players. Let's get that, if you make that clear, but, you know. Them and, you know, whatever they did out there, you was just grateful for. Whatever he do, grateful for. Don't say LeBron lost shit, because y'all didn't say Kareem lost shit. So that was a little long-winded right there, but at the very end of that clip, Gilbert, said one thing I absolutely despise. And that's the overall notion that LeBron James, when he loses at this age, it really doesn't matter. And why I despise that is because fans, the media, even LeBron himself sometimes hypes up his team, hypes up his squad as championship contenders. And in 2022, when you quite literally say, keep that same energy, mm. you can't get mad at fans for doing exactly that. That's a fact. As in the That's past two to three years, LeBron's had a big three, he's an all-star Anthony <laughs> Davis, and his Lakers teams have had great depth. But all of a sudden, when he loses, it's, well, he's 37, 38. Doesn't count. Doesn't matter. What do you expect from him? Well, according to you guys, I expect the Lakers to win last year, win in 2022, and repeat in 2021. Because according to you guys, Lakers every year should have won I mean, the championship. But you got to know. You got to use some critical thinking right there on cut. You know what I'm saying? You, you obviously know they're going to root for, for Braun. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand the logic, but come on, bro. My overall point being, don't pull the he's in year 20, year 19 card when he loses. Because when he wins... Wins, that's a fact. They're going to they add it on to the Jones. They're going to add it on to the Jones. They're going to add it on to the Jones. You know? And he has... Hear how I feel about the, uh, 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 the losing at this age and the winning at this age. It's not really about if he wins or loses, in my opinion. It's about what he does when he wins or loses. You understand? If he's the reason why they won, all right, that, that's that. You know what I'm saying? Add that all. You got to add that all. You cannot, you know, there's no, come on. If he, but if he's the reason why they lost, you got to hold it against him. You got to. But let's say he's not the reason why they won. And he was just, you know, he just played his part a little bit, but he's not really the reason. Uh... I mean, it's it's it's, it's it, on the on the on the on the on the on the on paper it's gonna say a champ another championship, but we all gonna know it's not really as valuable as the other ones. You understand? Yeah, y'all get that. Y'all get that. How old he is and yes. how many years he's played. Now, looking at one of Gilbert's other points, who is completely wrong on, is Kamal Jabbar not being effective at age thirty-eight. Now, in knowing NBA history, Kareem at age 38 is one of the best years of all time for a player past the age of 35. You know what I'm saying? I knew I wasn't tweaking. I know, I'm, 
I'm saying my basketball knowledge fake a little up there now. You know what I'm saying so I know. Come on, you can't. What? Yeah. Has that's that year average the proof is in the pudding. That's great on statistics. nearly sixty percent shooting. Come on, bro. Was fourth MVP. Finals MVP. Made the finals and his Lakers team fourth MVP, won sixty yeah. plus games. And the finals versus Boston Kareem that's tough. at age thirty eight won the MVP, averaging twenty six nine five with two blocks. Versus a Boston team that won 63 games. That right there, in my opinion, is the greatest age 38 season of all time. Mm. And even more impressive than all that, Kareem at age 38 played a total of 98 out of 101 games. You won't catch any player in the NBA That's a fact. at the age of 35 really playing 60 or even 70 games. <sighs> Haven't seen Steph do it. Haven't and even then, and even then, they're going to be in and out the game, go crazy and all that, you know, taking plays off. I haven't seen LeBron do it. And most it's certainly, true, true. I haven't seen KD do it. And to go full circle in this video, look at Michael Jordan at the age of 40. That year in his final year, he played all 82 games, averaging 37.0 minutes per game. If you compare Michael Jordan at 40, to last year's NBA leaders in minutes per game. Here's his ranks. First off, he'd be first in games played at 82, <coughs> first in total minutes, and third in minutes per game. If Michael Jordan at age 40 can do that on a bad knee, bad ankle, why are players today in the NBA sitting out only three games into the season? It's not yet. I, yo. At Who knows, bro? Well, we talked about it. We could dig a little deeper and talk about it, but it's like, what is it really going to do? They're not going to see this and change their mind. Like, oh, now nah, we got to start playing, y'all. Yeah. We got to start playing. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to do nothing. They just don't really love the game. <laughs> That's all it is. That's all it comes down to, man. They don't really love the game. Because if you love the game, you're going to be out there to hoop. These, you getting paid to hoop. Lots of cash. What? Oh, man. <laughs> you supposed to be out there every day, day. every day of hour, nigga. That's it. This one, y'all. I'm out there. So I'm supposed to be on vacation. Cooking the last, y'all. Yeah.